This is an integral of 0 to pi sine 7 x cos to x dx. Oh, it's another integral problem, but it's very simple, right? So let's go ahead and, uh, if you know you can solve this, just go ahead and pause the video, then try it on your own, and make sure you drop it, your comment, your answer in the comment box below, right? So now look at this. If I'm giving this kind of question, I'm, how am I going to solve it? It's very simple. Uh, just need to apply some trigonometric identity and for those of you that you are not familiar with trigonometric identities kind of pause this video right now and go back to my previous video make sure you watch the how i prove all the formula all the identities on trigonometry now look at this video look at this question rather i'm giving sign seven x cos to x dx no in this case i can just say let my seven x equals to a then similarly my 2x equals to b right that's just it so um looking at this no everything is going to be what that's sine what sine a cos what cos b and you can recall from your trigonometry identity that whenever you are having sine a cos a sine a cos a is actually the same thing as writing that's a or you can just say sine a plus b let me just say a plus b right then plus you have sine what sine a minus b then this should be the what let me just say divided by two here you have it what divided by two or you can just factorize one over two can you see you can just say you have it to be one over two into bracket sine a plus b right then plus sine a minus b that's very simple so it's just an identity. So in this case now, I will just go ahead and I'll make use of this. Show that what my integral is going to become zero to pi. Then sine a, I'm going to have it to what as one. Let me just factorize one over two out of one over two. Then I'm having this to what sine. What's my a? My a is seven x. Seven x then plus b, which is two x, right? Then plus I'm having it to what sine. That's the next one is actually seven x minus two x the x so i'm going to simplify first because before i just separate i'm going to have integral of zero to pi right so i'm going to have sine seven plus two is actually nine x then plus what sine this minus is actually seven x minus two x should give me five x the x right so let's go ahead out and integrate it let's just ban this one for now right you understand i'm having integral of what of sine nine x then plus integral let me have my dx here i'm separating now sine 5x dx right so i can just use my substitution method this is my substitution method i can just let u equals to what 9x then du the equals to what 9 dx then our dx will be equals to what du over 9 show that we are going to have integral of sine u du and whenever you integrate sine u you should have negative cos what negative cos u right then don't forget you're having over nine here right <coughs> so now let's go ahead i'm going to have one over nine integral of sine u du then what of this case i will have it to be what if you follow the same thing that's nine x is this is this what five x so here it should be what five so i'm going to have the u about over five so that i'm going to have this also to be plus that's one over five integral right of what of sine let me just say p in this case let's p equals to 5x right then the p equals what that's 5 dx so in this case your dx goes to the p over 5 right so yeah just put it there i'm going to have it to be that's a uh, integral of sine p then the x is what the p over 5 can you see this down so factorize the 1 over 5 out you're going to have 1 over 5 integral of what of sine p dp so now let's just integrate this i'm going to have 1 over 9 minus what minus cos u then here you're having plus one over five right that's in this case integrate this one that is actually minus cos what cos p check it down then plus c no i said we should neglect this first so let's just go ahead and what and we are going to have minus one over nine right cos your u is something what's your u cos nine x then plus one over five minus what cos 5x plus c exactly so in this case now bring your minus out i can 
vertices to bring out minus i'm going to have minus into brackets but let me just go ahead and put it there that's a cos 9x then here we have minus 1 over 5 then cos 5x in this case now let's just say we have our upper limit to be what zero and our lower limit to be zero and our upper limit to what to be pi so if you want to go down to and if you are not integrating with respect to this limit or you are, you are not you, don't, you are not giving limits this is actually the final answer you are not giving limits but let's say you are giving limits that's zero to what to pi right so yeah you're going to have it to be uh that's minus one over nine then cos nine into bracket what pi right so yeah you're going to have minus one over five then cos five into bracket your x is what is pi again yeah then minus no this is different then you are going to have it when it is zero minus one over nine that's cos what cos nine into bracket zero she get down so then minus one over five then you have it with cos five into bracket what zero so now you can feel free to go ahead and solve this and make sure you drop your answer in the comment box below you must drop your answer whereas and i'll be deaf to reply you if you are right or you are wrong so go ahead and place your calculator cos 9 you know given that your pi your pi equals to 180 as far as your angle is concerned but if it is if you are not dealing with angle your pi is what is 3.142 which is what 22 over, what, over 7 so but in this case you are using what 180 just go ahead and answer to your 180 here put your 180 here yeah and that's all right so we be good so make sure you drop your answer in the comment box below so that's just easy way to what to integrate this make sure you drop your answer thanks for watching